resume playing the biggest YouTube simulator update ever and get insanely OP. You guys know there's a shed, crafting, and tons of materials to grind for, so let's get some of that stuff. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Chris with the YouTube channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're not, you are about to, because we're back in YouTube Simulator. I am so hyped because this update is easily the best update we've ever had in the game, and I'm super, super excited to get all these materials, get all these crafting things, better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Am I right? Am I right? Seriously, before we even start, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell numbers of video. It really means a lot and shows the support, so please do those things real quick. It takes like two seconds. Smash that like button. We need 5,000 likes on this. I know we can do that. Also, um, we're closing in on that 2 million subscriber mark. Help us reach 2 million subscribers. I know we can do it in real life, not in this game. I have a quadrillion in this game, but I'm talking about 2 million in real life. I think we could do it. Now, in my last video from today, I actually uploaded a morning video doing this update. It's kind of confusing because I, in the video, I was like, the update's not out yet, guys. I'm sneak peeking it in the test server. Well, it is, uh, it, it was out once I released that video. It's because I recorded the video like the night before. So the testing server was the only update out. The actual game wasn't updated yet. And then I uploaded the video and then the update came out. So like, it's kind of weird, but I basically played this update already in the testing server, but I haven't yet played it in the main game. So basically, I've already gone over it in the last video and you guys probably know it by now, but the update allows you to craft things just like Minecraft. You can literally use V-Bucks, which is kind of crazy. I don't think there's any recipes for V-Bucks yet, but I mean, maybe there is, I don't really know. But basically, there's all these different crazy things that you can craft and they allow you to get better materials. Once you get better materials, then you can craft better things. And you basically just keep on going up and up and up until you start getting these chests. And these chests are gonna be massive. This ring also increased your boost multiplier to three. So if you look at the top, they added this. My current money boost is 9,600% with all my play buttons, all my plaques, all that stuff. 9,637.5%. And my boost multiplier is only one. If I got one of these, it would be outstanding. But I have to get one of these, which requires these, which requires these, etc. So I have to get so many different things to trickle down in order to get any of these. Now, again, like I said, the last video I made on this is the test server, but the video, the, the update's been out for a while. So let me know what you guys got and let me know if you have any tips on getting any of this new stuff. They also changed dollars to the shop currency. So when you go in here, you now get dollars and it's not going to be your actual money that you use to buy upgrades and new cameras and stuff like that. So that is one big change they added. And they also added the shed. Now, I talked about this in my last video. I don't actually know what the shed is for. Um, I'm assuming it's just extra space. So now you have a studio with two rooms and a shed. And I'm assuming it's just it's just that it's just for storage and extra space. So now you can have like a lot, a lot of different uh YouTube plaques and play buttons. And I also don't know why they have two crafting stations. Maybe so you can craft two things at once. I don't really know what the point of that is, but I guess maybe you can craft two things at once or maybe you'll need it eventually. Not really sure. So here are the recipes and here are the different materials. And as you can see, my face cam's cutting it off a little bit, but basically this says item and then chance of getting per click. While you're clicking, just editing and stuff, you can get these by chance and they're super rare the wood being the easiest to get. And now basically what I have to do is make a lot of these wood play buttons to get my chances of getting stone better. And then once I get a lot of stone, I make these play buttons to get gold better. And then I do this to get diamonds better. And then this to get rubies better. And then I just keep on doing that up the food chain, getting the best stuff. So we're our goal today. Stay tuned to the end of this video because our goal is to get this. This ring looks crazy. And then I just keep on doing this again. And you know, I'm getting dollars. I'm getting, I'm getting those. And by the way, the dollars, like I said, the dollars, I've already showed this in my last video, but basically the dollars allow you to get items. They changed all of these prices to dollars and they changed the currency here to dollars. So definitely interesting. I don't know why they did it. It probably makes sense, but I don't actually know why, but it's kind of cool. It's just an extra thing to collect and earn as you're just clicking. So it rewards the people that are grinding and auto clicking and clicking a lot, which is really, really nice because those are the people that have been actually grinding. Oh my gosh, I'm getting lots of wood. So my goal is to make as many of these wood play buttons as I can. 
So I kind of want to like auto click for like a really long time, like a few hours and see what happens. But for now, I'm going to just auto click for a little bit, try and get a bunch of these wood play buttons. So I'm going to auto click for probably like 10, 20 minutes because just doing this for like five seconds. I mean, I'm literally getting like a few pieces of wood a minute at this rate. 2% chance, and I'm already getting some stone, which is really good for the next currency. Look at this. I already almost have enough for another one. I already have enough for another one. That's all it took, baby. So again, it's 0.41%. Now watch when I craft another one. It's probably going to go up to, I think it goes up to like 0.6 or something. All right, we got to get this in here. There we are. Bam, another one. And then this, bada bing, bada boom. Again, this is really messy. I'm gonna start putting stuff in my shed and in my second room, but for now, this is what we got. So now, it's a 0.41. I thought that was what I just upgraded it to. I have two play buttons down. I thought it should go up a little bit. Did it go up? I don't, I, I feel like I'm dumb, but, oh, it's because I didn't reload the page. I'm an idiot. I didn't reload the page. It's 0.64. So now it's 0.64. So now my chances of getting a stone are way, way higher. So I don't want to, I don't want to waste too much time. I want to get some insane stuff this episode. So I'm going to do a lot of grinding. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll be right back. Hey, I honestly don't know what to expect. I've been clicking, auto clicking for a little bit now, probably 30 minutes or so. Don't really know, but we're going to go ahead and check my inventory. Hopefully I have a lot of wood. Oh, wow. Okay, so 199 wood. So that can craft a ton. I wish I could just like spam these and make buttons like really, really fast. Wait, can I do this? Can I like, oh, I can, oh, that's what that is. So you can make one or you can make the max amount that you're able to, 22. So just like that, now I can place 22 of these things. Wait, that's the wrong way. Awkward. Um, I can place 22 of these. Why is it backwards? Okay, how was that backwards? The placing is so weird. Like sometimes it, it's backwards, sometimes it's not, and it looks the same both ways. I really don't care. Let me just place them. I don't even care. So let's place all these. They're gonna look really ugly for now. But dude, oh my gosh. This is going to make my multiplier go from like 0.8 or whatever for, for stones to an insanely high number. What is this placing? All right, here we are. There we are. And three more. Bam. Bam. That's a lot. 22 plus whatever I had. We got a lot now. So look, it was previously like 0.8. Now... 11% chance to get stones. And now we can even make, so look, gold is 0 0.02. Now we can even make stone play buttons, which will make it so I can get gold easier. And then I can get other things. I'm gonna get stone like every every couple clicks or something, dang. So, so gold is 0 0.002. Now let's make a bunch of these. Dude, eventually you can get stone up to like 100%. You basically just get stones instantly so that's the stone play button okay pretty cool and then let's go ahead and do this and we'll check how much gold my multiplier is at now so now it's 0 0.02 up to 0 0.32 and look i already got some gold i had already gotten some gold i haven't gotten any of these because those are super rare but i'd already gotten some gold so we're doing pretty good so far now it's crazy because I don't think you can increase your, your chances of getting wood. I don't know how, at least. If there's a way to increase your chance of getting wood, let me know. But as of now, I don't know if there's a way. My goal is to make it to this star thing right here. That's what we want to make eventually. So we're going to need a lot of this gem, a lot of tokens, definitely just a, a ton of things. But I want to start clicking now because we're going to get stones like crazy. Stone, stone, stone. Oh my gosh. Dude, look how fast we're getting stones. That's actually crazy. 
11% chance. So again, once we make even more of these wood things, it's going to be crazier. But I literally just instantly, I had two already. I just got 20 and it hasn't even been 30 seconds. That is actually crazy. So we're getting stones literally every couple clicks. It's actually insane. So now we'll be able to get gold up a lot and get a lot more gold. There's another one. There's another gold. So we have up to three gold and then we just have to keep on going and making more and more and more. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place my last couple play buttons and then I'm going to go to bed and auto click all night. And I'm gonna see how much I wake up with. Hopefully I wake up with some insane amounts of gold and you know, I might not, I don't really know, but we're gonna see what happens. Let's keep grinding. I'll see you guys in a sec. I don't have face cam for this part because I just woke up and well, you know, you don't want to see this blue man when he's angry, okay? <laughs> um, basically, I was auto clicking all night and check out what I got. Now, when I got back to my computer, it said that the developer had updated the game and I was kicked out. So it wasn't even like officially all night, but check out how many materials I have. Are you ready? 845 gold. I actually got one diamond and I got 15,270 rocks. That is actually insane and a lot of wood as well. So now we can make ridiculous amounts of plaques. The only problem is I won't have room to store all these plaques. Like if you if you check this out, ready? Look at this. This is about to be disgusting. 99 and then oh, and then I can just keep doing 99. That is going to be a lot. But the thing is, I don't really want to make. I don't actually need to make more of those. Um, what I really want to make right now is this play button, but I need that material right there. And that's this. And in order to make this, I need a surround stone in gold. So let's do this. Put this. I wish there was a, like I said, I wish there was a way to like click and do it. But this will make us. Oh, I can make 99 of those. Oh my gosh. All right, that's big. So now I have 99 of these gold things. So now I can make a ton of these gold play buttons, which is gonna make diamonds be even easier. And then that's gonna be the final one. I'm gonna be able to get this plaque, which will then make it way easier to get other things. So let's put this here. And we should be able to make like, what, like 99 of these? Look at this, 33 of these huge so now we can go to our shed this is why we really need that chest that's going to give us a lot more room here so let's put all these down so we can get uh because wait what are the gold gold gets you diamonds better i think i can't really remember but we're going to go ahead and uh put all these down and see what increases this is just the start guys so we can put all of these gold plaques here i wish there was like a faster way to do this like place all that'd be kind of sick actually let me know how many you guys got in the comment section below. And I have so many of these stone ones. I could literally make like infinite. I wish there was a way to increase the amount of wood you get because you can increase the amount of stone you get and all those other materials, but not wood. So let's place all these real quick and see what our multiplier is at. This is so valuable. That chest that like stores four of these because you can place one chest in one spot and have four. So you can basically just have uh, infinite a lot a lot more I, I don't know how much i i don't know math i'm not a mathematician but uh it's a lot so here's all my upgraded plaque buttons play buttons right now and let's see what my multipliers are at so here's the crafting station i don't remember what it was before there it is so it increased the chance of getting diamonds and that's how much it increased by 0.17 so it was really hard before. It was like 0 0.002 or something like that. And now it's that high. So even though that's still low, it's much, much higher. And if I'm auto clicking, it's going to it's going to get a lot of those. But now we need to start getting the next one. We need to start getting rubies in order to make this. We need at least one of these, which requires tokens. So I'm basically going to have to keep doing this. I'm gonna have to rebirth, I'm gonna have to get tokens, and it's gonna be hard to craft all these things. Like, I'll be able to craft this, and I'll be able to craft this, that'll be six, and then I'll be able to craft not that, because I'll have to rebirth again. And then I could actually craft that one. Wait a second. 
I could actually craft this way easier. I didn't realize I could already craft this. I just need to get, I just need a rebirth and I can make a bunch of those. That's actually cool. But I'd rather get these first, these boost multipliers. So that's the ultimate goal, I think. All right, let's keep going. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get some diamonds here. As you can see, I've been grinding, editing and stuff too, because I need to get tokens. My next step is I need to start making these diamond play buttons so that I can get rubies. And in order to get rubies, I need tokens. I have 46 diamonds. So if I get tokens, I can make a few of these rubies and then I can increase my chance of getting them. So we're gonna have to do that. Then we're gonna have to get a lot of these so that we can then make that. We have to save two tokens. Wait a second, that's a ruby. So what is this? Oh, this is only from crafting. So I actually haven't gotten any rubies yet and rubies are really rare. So here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to rebirth. So let's start by doing that, getting 14 tokens. I wish there was a way to get more tokens, but we're gonna get 14 tokens for this. And then that should be enough to do all the things. I don't know, this is gonna be a grind. So he said deal about five tokens. I don't know if it's changed, but I could have sworn that they changed it to seven. I don't know if they changed it back, but I'm hoping I get 14 tokens right here. Seven and then buy more seven. But if they changed it back to five, yeah, it says five. That's sad. Okay, so they must have, I thought they changed it to seven, but then maybe they changed it back. Either way, I should have 10 tokens now, right? 10 tokens. So I got a lot of different materials. Let's cut back to the studio just to save some time. All righty, so now we need to make this play button. Again, we need to make one of these to do it. So I have to use four tokens. One, two, three, four. Oh, that hurts. And then a diamond. This will make, oh, I could, I could technically make two of them. I'm gonna make one for now. And now I can make a diamond play button. So. This ruby chance is gonna go up from 0 0.0002, which is basically impossible, to something maybe more doable, hopefully? Let's see. Um, in order to make this, we need to put diamonds everywhere, so let's do that. I wish there was a way to do this faster, like I keep saying, but I don't think there is for now. All right, so we'll put this all here, and then this here. I made a diamond play button. Now look at this shed, I can't, do anything here. I'm literally full. That's why I really need that chest thing. But I can remove these wood ones because I don't need to get a lot of stone anymore. I don't need that multiplier to be that high. You know what I mean? So I can remove those and replace it with this and even replace this with a stone one because the stone ones are better at this point because that gets me more gold. So I don't really need my, I don't need much stone. You know what I mean? I have like unlimited play buttons. So I can kind of remove all of these and you basically like, even though you start running out of room, you basically just keep replacing the play buttons with better ones so that you can get better materials, better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, this will make it so I can get gold better and I need gold so I can get diamond better and then I basically just keep going up the food chain. So there's the diamond one, that one looks sick. That's definitely the coolest one I've gotten so far. Now, how much will it increase my chances? Probably not that much, let's see. Oh God, it's still really low. That's still really low. So if I wanna craft this, I need these, but I don't have enough to craft that. Uh, this is going to be tough, bro. Okay, so here's what I need. I need to make more of these. I just need to make more of those. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to use all my tokens for this. I'm gonna have to use all my tokens for this one. It's the only way. It's the only way. I need more diamond ones. I'm gonna have to rebirth again. It sucks because that's such a grind, but I take this away and I put the diamond one here. That is what I need. Wait, didn't I make a diamond one? Where'd it go? Wait, what? I definitely made a diamond one. I definitely made, wait, did I not? I made one of those. I'm an idiot. I didn't actually make the plaque. My bad. All right, so we put this here, put this here. Dude, it's so slow. They need to make it so you click. And then bam, bam. Okay, another diamond play button. Here we are, black, down. 
So we got two of them. It went from 0.0002 to 0.00064. This is so rare. We're gonna have to, I have enough diamonds to keep going. We're just gonna have to rebirth again. We literally just have to keep rebirthing. Luckily my, as you can see, my boost is super high up there. If I had a boost multiplier though, that would be crazy. That's that's what I really need to get to. I need, I need to get to that point. But we're just gonna have to keep on rebirthing. I'm gonna have to keep playing. Definitely have a lot of grind ahead of me. I'll see you guys in a sec when hopefully we have uh, some rubies. Let's keep going. Ultimately, there's not gonna be any rubies in this video. I'm gonna have to grind even further because I don't even have time. I've grinded all day and night and I still haven't gotten any rubies. This is my current multiplier. 0.02% chance. It's like getting an insanely rare secret pet. One in like 200,000 or one in 20,000, something insanely rare, something like that. So it's gonna take a really long time to get this. Therefore, I'm gonna have to do a lot of rebirths. And even rebirthing, is not that quick. I have to like actually do a lot in order to get this. I wish there was a way to keep a certain computer that you have, you know what I mean? Like maybe an item that keeps a computer after a rebirth, you know what I mean? Something like that would be really cool. But I basically just have to keep on doing this, keep on rebirthing, getting more tokens and making more of those insanely rare craftables um, because I have to get more diamond play buttons. I have a good amount right now, but it's just, it's not enough to... And I've tried the pay to win method, but it's so expensive, so I can't do that every time. But I'm gonna need to make some more diamonds. So once we make some more diamond play buttons, we'll get this ruby thing up. It was very, very low. It was like point, I think it was four zeros and then two or something. Now it's like kind of close. Once I get it to like a, a number here, that might be doable. But until then, it's gonna be pretty tough. I mean. My percentage chance to get stones has gone down a lot, which I don't need it to be that high anymore because I don't need any stones. I already have a lot of them. I have 16,000. And then as far as gold goes, I mean, that even I don't really need to be that high, but it's good to be at least there because I can make a lot of this material. So if I put this here, actually, how much can I make? I just realized I could probably make a lot of these right now. But yeah, it's going to take a while to craft what I want. So I'll see you guys in the next video where we're able to make a lot more. I can make the diamonds upgrade, but I don't really need more gold play buttons to get diamonds faster, you know what I mean? So that's the only reason I'm not getting those because I don't really need that many more diamonds. Diamonds, I, I get at a good enough rate. I just really need to get these rubies. And in order to make them, I need a lot of these tokens. That's the hardest part. So we're gonna have to do some more grinding. This is what we ended up with in our shed. It's looking crazy right now, all gold all diamond and then some rock and some wood but we're eventually gonna get these all diamond and then start getting a ton of rubies in the next episode hopefully you guys are hyped if you are smash that like button subscribe if you're new this update is amazing and i'm gonna keep grinding and get my shed to be the best ever thanks for watching if you have any tips let me know and i'll see you guys next time